guys, welcome back to our channel. It's your girl Omomo Loakemi at Day Solar. From the thumbnail, you might have noticed it's also going to be another movie review. So the movie I'm going to be reviewing today is the very popular Coming to America 2. Before I go into the sequel, the Coming to America 2, the first one, Coming to America 1, was released in the year 1988 and it was um, a story created by Eddie Murphy and directed by John Landis. Now, talking about the Coming to America 1, it was a very, very, very close to perfect movie. I said close to perfect because the storyline was great, the costumes were so beautiful, we felt the whole African vibe, we felt royalty, we felt there was just so much richness and enlightening in that movie. It was that great. And it was one of the movies that made my childhood very, very, very interesting. Now the first one, um, the storyline went like um, the prince, he told his father that uh, his father wanted him to get married uh, to somebody he has been betrothed to right uh, as a child. But he told his father that he was going to go to America, he wanted to live a little, so his wild oath, and then he would be back for his marriage. After several back and forth between he and his father, his father agreed that he should go, but he must be accompanied um by he must be accompanied by his closest friend uh, then they went to america they went to queens in america and while they got there he told his friend that he wanted to look for a bride of his own he doesn't believe in the whole marriage arrangement well his friend had to later agree with him then they were on the side he had to get a job he had to go through so many things but there was the thing that he he had to pretend that it was just a regular African that immigrated to America. So they had to live like every normal African American living in America. So uh, after a while he met a girl, he fell in love with her, but the girl doesn't the girl was not aware that he was royalty. So when he refused to go back home and several, several attempts by his father, the king and the queen to contact him so he can come back home to fulfill his marital rights and all of that, they couldn't reach him because he doesn't want to go back home because of the new girl he had met. So his parents had to travel down to America to look for him and take him back home. And while they got there, they saw that he was living like every regular American and he wasn't really living the whole royalty life. So that means a lie to his parents and they were not cool with that and they had to take him back to America immediately. But while the parents were there, the girl he had fallen in love with, he had fallen in love with, got to know that he was royalty and she got angry and broke up with him because no, she, she felt that he, he lied to her all along. So she had to break up with him and then Akim got so sad and went back to Zamunda with his parents. So while they got to Zamunda, after a while he had to agree to get married to the person that was earlier betrothed to him and um, his parents had to kind of make an arrangement and you know bring the girl he had fallen in love with in America to surprise him on the wedding day, the, the, the whole thing was also beautiful to watch, the storyline was solid, it was relatable, you know, and we felt the, the, the whole richness of Africa, we felt it in that movie. Now coming to America too, for me, I would say that the storyline is not so solid. I would give the storyline a 4 over 10 because it was just so shaky. There were so many things wrong with it. The script wasn't, it wasn't even, though I never expected it to be as perfect as the first one, but I expected it to be a little bit close. Now, the first problem I have with that movie was is the title, Coming to America. The first one was Coming to America because Akim actually came to america akim actually went to america 80 percent of that was shot in america just few parts was in africa in zamunda now this one 
I think about two or three scenes where the American scenes. The rest was in Zamunda. So how is that still coming to America? That is more like staying in Zamunda. So the title should have been something like staying in Zamunda. Now the uh, the, the the second problem I have with the movie was that is that um Wesley Snipes part was made out to be a joke like it was too watery the, that that part of the movie wasn't too solid because he was meant to assassinate the prince that is Akim it was meant to assassinate Akim and Akim Akim's son was supposed to marry his own daughter the whole thing just wasn't really clear enough for me and it looked too much like a joke i didn't see the seriousness in the whole assassination thing another problem i had with the movie is that um there was too much singing going on i believe if we want to watch a musical movie we would go watch movies like um ice cream musical one two three we would go watch that if i want to watch coming to america i want to watch a romantic comedy not a musical there was just too much singing going on they just had to bring so many a-listers to sing i feel they should have just left the singing to davido at the end maybe after the royal wedding there should be a performance from davido and that should be it but there was just so much singing going on another problem i had with the movie is the costume though it was so beautiful to see the old ankara gold you know it was so beautiful to see but the costumes were kind of tacky it made the movie look cheap compared to the first one the golds looked so real the fabrics looked so beautiful colorful vibrant but two coming to america too it just wasn't mm -mm. Mm -mm. the costumes were tacky um another problem with the movie was another problem with the movie is the storyline i don't know if i mentioned it earlier but the storyline is so mediocre it doesn't even it just wasn't adding up together from the assassination of the prince to the marriage to from the assassination of akim to the prince's marriage to the prince falling in love with one of the uh, with one of the maids in the palace to the prince supposed supposing to marry um the general's daughter everything just was not adding up and one part that i found funny was when hakim went to america to meet his son that part was just too shallow it doesn't happen that way like how can you just be told that okay this is your son and you just agree next thing is on a jet back to zamunda like there was no dna test the, the the movie just wasn't there was no suspense there was no suspense i couldn't emotionally connect with the acting the acting was just everything seemed like a joke it was it, it, it seemed like a joke that was not even funny that is how i feel so i really cannot put this 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 second this second coming to america with the first one i can't even place them beside each other honestly after watching it after watching it i had to go back to watch the first one so i would use it to flush out the second one from my head because i i really i don't want to carry this memory for long because it's really spoiling the beautiful memory i have always had about the first one in my head so um that's just it but i would still advise that you watch it it's on amazon prime you can you should still watch it honestly and come back in the comment section to tell me what you think about the movie so guys that's going to be all for today um if you like this kind of content give those video a thumbs up if you're not subscribed to my channel please click on that subscribe button right now and share this video with all of your friends i remain your favorite girl of momo oluakemi at desola and i'll see you guys in my next video i love you